BBC Radio London. Make a difference. Let's have a picnic, shall we? A renegade picnic. I'm going to find out more about that. And that itself is part of Make Music Day because Nick Feldman is now on the line. Hello, Nick. Hello there. How are you doing? So first of all, tell us a bit about Make Music Day. Yeah, so as you said, we're part of Make Music Day, which in itself is uh, an international uh, annual celebration. It happens on 21st of June every year. Right. Um, it's still kind of in its infancy. It's kind of growing up a little bit in this country, but it's been going uh, internationally since 1982. So it's got a long history behind it. Um, and the principles remain the same in the kind of 120 odd countries that it takes place in. Uh, and also the principles that kind of uh, the people behind the Renegade Picnic Festival introduced to this country back in 2012. So we've been doing it since then uh, in the UK proper. Um, and yeah, so it's basically free music events uh, kind of based around participation, accessibility to, to music and culture, uh, sharing musical kind of culture and identity as well. Um, and it's kind of, you know, it's, it's, set, it's sort of founded on these principles. And, and as I say, those, it's those principles which then get adopted by all the countries that choose to take part in it. Now, normally, I guess it would involve lots of people physically getting together to make music. <laughs> it, yeah, it, it would. <laughs> and, and we're a bit guy not to be doing that for our festival our, ourselves, actually, because this was always a bit of a milestone year because the date stays the same, you see, so the day changes. So we were like, oh, it's a weekend. You know, we can do something bigger and better. And then, of course, these are unprecedented whatnot, you know, sort of situation happened. Um, so, yes, it is physical, but, you know, we, we're working with that as are you know other people who were due to do events and performances this year so it's all shifted online as you might expect absolutely like everything else has <laughs> like everything else so yeah. does that mean that it's all going to be solo performances this year do you think um no i mean even amongst the stuff we've got for our own uh, stream which is taking well obviously the day's tomorrow so tomorrow evening um we've got yeah a mixed bag we've got people that are you know are living together uh some people obviously you know live in you know large sort of households yeah we've got um people who've done sort of socially distanced sort of videos we've got people that have just done some natty editing to kind of like pull their team together we've got a samba collective you know we've wow. got samba sisters collective we've got daisy roots dance collective and they've all some of them you know again have been filmed in isolation brought together in video in other cases they're sort of in groups i mean it's a real mixed bag you know we've, we've just had to you know muddle through it as best we can and i think it really you know it comes across we've got a good range of different things still happening so and is it is it any one style of music or any style of music no no i mean that's the thing it's very much um you know it's it's not about any specific it didn't sort of come from any specific um you know sort of subgenre or sort of scene or anything in it's originated in france in 1982 and it's actually the ministry of culture that that kind of kick-started it um you know i think it's just a bit more of a european you know uh, kind of like, you know, lust for that kind of like summer celebration and stuff, which we have here to in a slightly different way, perhaps. And um, but no, it hasn't. And it's almost one of the, the tricky things about getting it embedded here is that, you know, it's it there's not really something for everyone to latch on to, you know. And so there's only going to be a few people that kind of get that idea and who are maybe already sharing, you know, their music you know, on a community level or who like to do it, you know, make it accessible. Like I've always produced events for very nominal entrance fees. Do you know what I mean? So I always wanted to make it as accessible as possible. So, yeah, you know, it, it's not about one thing. And actually, as I said, it's very much about discovering new things as well. Where can people discover these things? How can they sort of either... Can, can people still take part or can you just kind of watch it now? No, people can definitely take part. Well, our own thing, we are, we, uh, you know, we've got sort of three hours or so of stuff tomorrow, three and a half hours, I believe, um, which is going to be streaming on our website, which is renegade-picnic.co.uk and then also on our Facebook page, which uh, you can search for us there and on uh, Twitter and Instagram as well. Um, but then there's the, you know, as I said, so then there's like the coordinating groups for each country. So here, that's made music day uk um seems to be fairly obvious uh, yeah. name there and that's make music day dot uh, co dot uk that's their main central thing and people are still registering events essentially which are i guess now more performances yeah. um and even even previous years some of that time it is just people doing a single performance you know public performance on the street could be busking could be anywhere really it's literally anything you can think of so there's still time for people to get um get involved and take part they can register the stuff there they can also use the hashtag make music day uk and you can uh, and that will get put stuff, into the stream can't you yeah there's also workshops 
workshops, yeah. So it's not just performances. Um, I think definitely in the last few years. So this started, as I said, in, in 2012. It was kind of myself and some friends, uh, you know, musicians, DJs, electronic producers, sound engineers. We got together and sort of brought it. We actually had a bit of an impromptu <clears throat> flash mob uh, street party in Shoreditch in 2012. That was the only one that happened. And it's kind of grown from there. We, we steered it for a few years. Now it's under the Make Music Day name, and there's a team that are working on it all year round. And again, there's much more emphasis on the kind of participatory kind of activities. So, yeah, there's, 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 there's usually workshops about learning instruments. And this year, again, that's obviously going to happen, have to happen in a different format. But, yeah, definitely uh, other ways people can get involved as well. I think it's just to take the passivity out of enjoying music a little bit. Give yeah? us, give us the, the best place for people to go to find out more about it. Well, as I said, so it's makemusicday.co.uk is the, is the main website to discover UK stuff. And from there, you can find links to other you know, events and also back to even the international coordinating group if you want to see what's happening in other countries. But of course, yeah, there's loads of stuff going on in the UK. Uh, in London, well, obviously, yeah, so our Renegade Picnic Festival was due to happen tomorrow in uh, Lordship Rec Ground in, in Tottenham. So we were going to do, you know, quite a four-stage free festival. Um, you know, we're trying to talk, probably want to be one of the bigger events happening, but obviously we've had to shift that online. Um, otherwise, the Make Music Day team have also got a central stream. So they're doing 12 hours of kind of highlighted, uh, you know, picks from all the various things that are going on. And there's a couple there that I thought were also worth mentioning. They're doing a... Um, uh, lockdown, uh, what's, what's it called now? Uh, this is the bit I've forgotten, you see. Um, but there's, there's also some electronic music with the plugged uh, guys. They're a, a, a collective quite close to me. And there's also musicity who are doing musical journeys through the landscape and architecture of South London. Uh, and that's all taking place. You can see those on the mainstream. But as I said, if they head over to that main website, uh, they can find out, um, and maybe even some local stuff. So the idea normally is you'd find something local to you. They're all quite community level small low impact events and the idea is that you know you'd go and find something close to you well, and the more it grows and the more people get involved and do events the more that can be a reality you well, know obviously hopefully for next year you can get involved by going to makemusicday.co.uk and we heard about it from nick feldman with the renegade picnic